In 1942, the Allies could no longer tolerate the actions of the German army in Norway, as they were continuously obtaining raw materials in order to manufacture atomic bombs. The Allies proposed a special operation in Norway to cut off or delay the supply of raw materials to the German army. Within the context of this larger plan, another smaller plan emerged due to the lack of vehicles suitable for use in the Nordic environment by the Allies. Therefore, a plan was developed to create a light snowmobile armored transport vehicle. During the development process, the light tracked snowmobile armored vehicle was initially named T-15, later changed to M-28, and finally changed to M-29 Weasel. The M-29 was further divided into three submodels, A, B, and C, with the C model being the most widely used. The M-29 armored vehicle was relatively compact. The initial designs of the T-15 and M-28 had a rear-mounted engine compartment and could only carry two people, along with some additional supplies. In contrast, the design of the M-29 was more refined. Its engine was installed at the front of the vehicle and was powered by a 70-horsepower Studebaker 6-176-cylinder engine. The gearbox was installed at the rear of the vehicle, driving the main wheels at the rear. The diameter of the support wheels was very small, and the front guiding wheel was positioned lower than the main wheels, giving the armored vehicle a slightly forward-leaning appearance. To reduce ground pressure, the metal track plates had a large surface area. Initially, the track width was 380 mm, which was later increased to 510 mm. Although it did not look very coordinated, the M29 had excellent maneuverability, easily traversing mud and snow that other tracked vehicles could not handle, which received high praise during subsequent use. Although the vehicle was similar to the Carden Lloyd armored vehicle and had an open top, the M29 did not have standard protective armor. It was simply a tracked transport vehicle. The driver's seat was located in the front left of the vehicle. Due to the compact nature of the vehicle, the dashboard was not directly in front of the driver but instead was to his right. In front of the driver was a windshield, and behind the driver was a row of seats that could accommodate three passengers. The M29 did not have standard weapon equipment. Generally, a weapon mount was installed in the middle of the vehicle, and it could be equipped with various weapons as needed. For example, the M29CA model was equipped with a M2075mm recoilless gun, while the M29CC model was equipped with a M337mm gun. After World War II, multiple countries acquired the M29 series of armored vehicles. For example, the French military had equipped it with a 57mm recoilless gun and a 60mm mortar. Initially, the M29 only had partial amphibious capability, with a low freeboard that allowed it to cross some calm inland waterways, utilizing its tracks to move forward. The C model appropriately addressed this issue by adding detachable flotation boxes to the front and rear of the vehicle, enabling it to perform amphibious tasks on relatively calm water surfaces. Originally, people hoped that the M29 could be airdropped into the snowy Norwegian terrain, but the vehicle ultimately did not participate in combat missions in Norway. Instead, it was deployed in combat in other parts of Europe. Soldiers quickly discovered that this light vehicle had a wide range of uses. In addition to transporting small amounts of supplies, it could also be used as an ambulance, communication vehicle, and command vehicle. Soldiers even used it to traverse anti-tank minefields, as its extremely low ground pressure would not trigger anti-tank mines. The vehicle also served as a complement to specialized amphibious landing vehicles, participating in the Normandy landings and crossing the Rhine River. It is said that it also served in the Marine Corps on Iwo Jima and Okinawa. After World War II, the M29 was sold to many countries as surplus military equipment, with the majority being the C model. Many were subsequently sold to the civilian market. The French mountain troops used it until the 1970s, and polar exploration teams even used it until 1993, demonstrating its excellent off-road and snowmobile capabilities. 
The M29 Weasel light armored vehicle weighed 1.7 tons, had a length of 3.2 meters, a width of 1.5 meters, later changed to 1.68 meters with the installation of new tracks, a height of 1.3 meters, excluding the windshield, and a maximum speed of 58 kilometers per hour. It had poor waterborne maneuverability and a maximum land range of 266 kilometers.